Structural organization in animals. Digestive system of cockroach, alimentary canal. The digestive system of cockroach consists of the alimentary canal and the associated digestive glands. The pre-oral cavity is present in front of the mouth. It is surrounded by the mouth parts. The hypopharynx divides the pre-oral cavity into two chambers, namely the anterior chibarium and the posterior salivarium. Alimentary canal. The alimentary canal is a long tube coiled at some places. It extends between the mouth and anus. It is divided into three regions, namely the stomodium or foregut, mesenteron or midgut, and proctodium or hindgut. The foregut and hindgut are lined by ectoderm, while the midgut is lined by endodermal cells. Stomodium or foregut. The foregut consists of pharynx, esophagus, crop, and gizzard. It is internally lined by the chitinous cuticle. The mouth opens into the pharynx. Pharynx leads into a narrow tubular esophagus. The esophagus opens into a thin walled distensible sac called crop. The crop serves as a reservoir for storing the food. The outer surface of the crop is covered by a network of tracheae. The crop leads into a thick walled muscular gizzard or proventriculus. The wall of the gizzard has an outer layer of thick circular muscles and an inner layer of thick chitinous cuticle. The inner chitinous lining of the gizzard has six powerful teeth which serve as the grinding apparatus. Behind each tooth there is a hairy pad with backwardly directed bristles. The food is thoroughly ground into fine particles by the teeth. The fine particles are then filtered by the bristles. The gizzard thus acts as a grinding mill and sieve. The funnel-like membranous projection of the gizzard into the mesenteron is called the stomodial valve. It prevents regurgitation or backward flow of food from the mesenteron into the gizzard. Mesenteron or ventriculus or midgut. The midgut is a short and narrow tube. Between the midgut and the gizzard, there are six to eight finger like processes called hepatic CC or gastric cc, or midgut cc. They arise from the wall of the midgut. They are helpful in digestion and absorption of food. The midgut is functionally divided into an anterior secretory part and a posterior absorptive part. The secretory part of the midgut has numerous gland cells which secrete many enzymes. The secretory part also secretes a soft, chitinous and porous membrane called peritrophic membrane around the food bolus. The peritrophic membrane is a network of chitin fibrils in a glycoprotein matrix. It protects the delicate wall of the midgut from any hard particles present in the food. The midgut opens into the hindgut. This opening is guarded by a sphincter muscle which prevents the regurgitation of undigested food and uric acid from the hindgut into the midgut. Proctodium or hindgut. 
the hindgut is a long tube consisting of three regions namely ilium colon and rectum it is internally lined by chitinous cuticle six bundles of one hundred to one hundred and fifty fine yellow blind tubules called malpighian tubules open to the ilium at the junction of the midgut and hindgut they are excretory in function the ilium is a short tube it receives undigested waste from the midgut and uric acid from the malpighian tubules ilium opens into a long coiled tube called colon the colon contains symbiotic bacteria which produce the enzyme cellulase cellulase digests cellulose the colon leads into a short and wide rectum the rectum bears six longitudinal folds called rectal papillae on its inner wall they are concerned with the reabsorption of water from the undigested food the rectum opens out through the anus structure of